Hi, my name is Laura Batante. This is my two bits. And today's craft is this uh, minion felt finger puppet. He's lots of fun. So um, let's get started. So materials for this project are uh, felt, of course. You're going to need yellow, blue, a little bit of black and gray, um, embroidery floss in yellow and black, as well as a needle. I'm using Aline's felt and foam tacky glue. I love this stuff. It's really great. It's thick and it adheres really well. Um, if you don't have this, regular white glue will work. Um, just use it sparingly. Um, it's a little bit wetter, so it tends to soak through. So you just want to be aware of that. Um, I have my fabric scissors. And then here is the template. So you're going to want to download that PDF right there in the video notes. Okay, so just before um, we start cutting things out, I want to go over a few little tips here. Um, this little mouth here is very small and so if you are working with some younger crafters you might want to just ignore the mouth and have them draw a mouth on with a black um, pen that would work great and then the other thing is this, the um, eye now I've gone with the big one-eyed minion as opposed to one of the others with uh, smaller circles and um, I've done that to make it as easy as possible. I'm going to cut out like I did here in the middle. But if you're working with a younger crafter uh, and you cut this circle out for them, you could just have them glue the eye right on top of that. And then um, in terms of these other pieces, um, I've cut them a little bit longer than they need to be so that we're, we will actually adhere them and then trim them away. So that just makes that a little bit easier too. All right, so I have everything else cut out and I'm just going to cut out my eye now. And I just want to show you how I do it. I really turn the uh, template and the felt while I'm very slowly closing my scissors. So I am doing all of the turning with the hand that's holding the project. And it just helps you get a little bit smoother um, circle than say, you know, chopping all the way around. All right, and like I had mentioned, um, if you want to leave it like this, you for sure can do that. And if not, I'm just going to fold mine into quarters and give it another cut. It's a little tricky. Um, I'm just going to pick a distance and attempt to maintain it. Thankfully, there's not tons to cut. So there we go, not perfect, but felt is very forgiving, so um, that's very helpful. You know what I didn't mention? I didn't mention the googly eye. You are going to need a googly eye. This is about a seventh eighth of an inch. So what we're going to do now is the hair. And on these ones, I did it differently, and I'm not too happy with the results. So we're going to do a different plan of attack for the hair on this and I think it will work out great. So we're going to take our top piece and we're going to fold him. Now this is the front and we're just going to go down from where we would sew. So if this was our sewing stitch line then we'll put his hair about here and we're going to shoot our needle through and that is basically all we're going to do. Then we're going to trim that. And he can get a little extra haircut later. This is just to get it going. We just want to get it in there behind and then we're going to glue it so it stays in place. And I will fold it again and go just below and tuck it in. These uh, felt finger puppets are a great first sewing project for kids. Um, felt is, like I said, so forgiving. All right, so all we're going to do now is just go behind and put some of our glue on. And that should hold it no problem. And we don't want to get glue up where our sewing is going to be later. so. Um, just be aware of that. And now we do need to let that dry, um, but I am going to um, carry on because that's, that's how I roll. 
I'm going to just trim a little piece here, put it in behind so that I can keep going with the tutorial, otherwise I have to take a break. All right, so what we're going to do is sew him together. Normally I, I would um, do most of the features and stuff first, but um, really with the hair done, everything else gets glued over top, so I don't think it matters. Uh, unless, once again, you, if you're using just straight up white glue, oops, that's not gonna be long enough. If you're using straight up white glue, then um, I recommend that you put all of your pieces on first so that you're not going to accidentally glue your um, two pieces together if you get it a little bit too wet. Or you could put some maybe wax paper in here. But if you're using this glue, it's not going to be a problem at all. All right. There we go. We'll put a knot in the end. So I'm using about a foot of um, oops, embroidery floss. And I always start, and I'm not much of a sewer, I'm not going to lie, but I always start my project up a bit, like one stitch up, so that I can hide the knot. <laughs> Especially if I have a giant tail on it. We don't need that. And then I will go down like so, back to the beginning, so to speak, and then come up right beside. And I find that that kind of hides the knot, not too bad. So now all we're gonna do is go all the way around and we're going to try and have nice, straight, even stitches. All right, so we should all be uh, done with the sewing. And now we will just go ahead and put on the uh, all the rest of the features and if you have your um, download then of course you have this little diagram here which will give you an idea of basically where to put things but you know I think we all know the minions pretty well so we can eyeball it ah, as I work on the eyeball so we're gonna go ahead and, and just glue this stuff down and then you want to make sure that those straps line up. And then once we get that on, we'll just trim away the ends and it will be great. So like so, and then I'm gonna put some glue on here. And you can see how fast this comes together once you get the uh, sewing part done. Okay, looking pretty good. And now the overalls. So I'm just gonna leave a little bit of room for the mouth and then center this. I feel like I might've put my hair down a little bit farther than last time. So I don't have quite as much room, but that's okay. No worries. And you don't have to put that extra pocket on. It's just a little extra detail um, because I took some details out to make it easier. I wanted to add a few in. Put his mouth on here. I don't know whether to make him happy or not happy. Well, it's not really not happy, it's more like confused. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with that. And now his straps. And for placement on those, I'm just aiming to get it on the corner and then off. Excellent, okay. I'm gonna let it all just dry for a minute or two and then I'm gonna trim it. All right, so we're all done and I think that they turned out pretty well. And uh, I hope you enjoyed making this craft with me today. And if you did, if you would give the video a like, I'd really appreciate it. And subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks very much for joining me today.